now extract there will be certain reaction there will be certain reaction that will give us one halopropane and there will be certain reaction that will give us two halopropane one will dominate over the other and this is thing that we have to understand now this phenomena of cherry picking the carbon of choosing the carbon based upon the stability this is called as the thermodynamic effect thermodynamics deals with the energy and stability now if you are looking at the stable product corresponding to the stable intermediate that analysis is the thermodynamic analysis all right now if we, we are if my halogen the free radical halogen is having enough time can bear the deficiency of electron for some time it can cherry pick the carbon it can choose the most stable carbon that will form the most stable free radical and form the corresponding product that is the thermodynamic aspect of the reaction but suppose this x dot do not have time this is highly unstable this does not have time to think about stability now all it thinks is to avoid to 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 bring stability to complete its octet and and uh, ameliorate the situation ameliorate its deficiency now in that situation this is not going to look at the stability of intermediate that will be produced rather this is going to look at the stability of itself right so it will try to dispel off the unstability because of deficiency and try to complete its octet now in that case what would happen wherever it will collide it will try to react there so the reaction will be more probabilistic rather than thermodynamically affected now suppose you have you have eight carbon here in propane now what would happen is you have six carbon of one type six carbon are one degree carbon have six hydrogen are one degree on one degree carbon and two hydrogens are two degree on two degree carbon so what will happen is the chance of getting of colliding with one degree hydrogen would be higher because simply they are higher in number and the chance to collide with this hydrogen on second degree carbon on two degree carbon would be less because they are less in number so if we look probabilistically that where the reaction should occur if it react wherever it collides because it is highly unstable it doesn't have to look for the stability of the product it has to look at the stability of itself so this will collide no matter how unstable is the intermediate no matter how the unstable the product is going to be if this extron is highly unstable and cannot bear any deficiency then it will react whenever it collides if it reacts wherever it collides then we have to see the number of sites the number of sites which is higher then the product would be corresponding to that site right so this is called as now this doesn't look at the thermodynamics right this looks at the kinetics of the reaction so this is this this kind of reaction if the kind reaction is occurring via unstable intermediate that is called kinetically controlled reaction kinetics is the study of speed of the reaction so if the reaction has to take place as fast as possible because the your intermediate your reagent is unstable then that is called kinetically controlled reaction if your reagent can wait and search for more stable position and give you the most stable product that is called thermodynamically controlled reaction fine now let's see which halogen will show kinetically controlled reaction and which halogen will show thermodynamically controlled reaction that will come from the stability of the reagent now chlorine is a highly reactive uh, ha, uh, is is a highly reactive and a chlorine's electronegativity value is very high you have fluorine then oxygen then nitrogen and chlorine has very close to nitrogen so electronegativity value of chlorine is very high and whenever you have electron deficiency on more electronegative atom then it is highly unstable because the electronegative atom are good at possessing electron at keeping negative charge and not at keeping positive charge or electron deficiency so this cl dot is a unstable intermediate it's a unstable free radical the so cl dot wants to remove off its instability as soon as possible so cl dot has a reaction that is kinetically controlled
This is a BI dot. The electronegativity of bromine is considerably less than chlorine and iodine is further less. That's one. Another point is they are big. Right? So bigger atoms whenever they have electron deficiency that is shared and whenever they are electron rich that then also the electron density becomes less. So the positive charge density and negative charge density both becomes less when the atom is bigger. And plus the electronegativity value is less. So both the factors club together makes this bromine and iodine free radical not so highly unstable. So they can wait and they can search. So their reactions are thermodynamically controlled. All right. Chloride, chlorine free radical reaction would be kinetically controlled. Bromine and iodine free radical reaction would be thermodynamically controlled. Fine. Now let's see the ramification of this thermodynamical control and kinetical control. Now what kind of product they will give? Now before going, going further let me tell you now if you have a chloride free radical then chloride free radical will be uh, looking more at the site which is higher in number so it will have a higher tendency to react with these two degree carbons right and it will have a lower tendency to react with this uh, higher higher tendency to react with these one degree carbons because hydrogens because simply they are larger in number and because they are less hydrogen on this two degree carbon there's only two so the number of collision will be of course less and the reacting tendency hence would be less so there is a there is a experimental experimentally we have a tendency we give a number to this tendency of reaction with one degree two degree and three degree now considering the base of base of base with the tendency of reaction with one degree carbon as one the tendency to react with two degree is 3.8 and the tendency to react with three degree is 1.8 I'll explain you meaning but this is the order of reaction for chlorine this is for three degree this is for two degree and this is for one degree meaning suppose chloride free radical has a tendency to react with one degree as one that let's give that value to that tendency as one then the tendency to react with two degree would be 3.8 and the tendency to react with three degree is five now you can you have to understand this that the otherwise the stability of one degree and two degree will vary much suppose you have react this chloride has reacted with one degree then the free radical would be this and if it has reacted with a three, two degree carbon then the corresponding free radical would be generated on two degree carbon now the difference in stability of this will be huge if I call the stability of this one degree free radical as one then the stability of this two degree free radical will be much much more than 3.8 but the difference in reactivity is has been the difference has been decreased in terms of reactivity because the number of one degree hydrogen is higher still the numerical value if we give to the tendency will be less for one degree even after having more number of carbon but the difference in reactivity is higher and the di difference in stability of these free radicals are, are higher but difference in reactivity are not so high if you have one for one degree it is only 3.8 for two degree and that is attributed to the fact that one degree hydrogens are or hydrogen on one degree carbon are larger in number and that accounts for the reduced difference in reactivity right and if you look at a three degree free radical that will be much more stable it will not only be five times stable than one degree it will be much more stable than one degree but the reactivity is only five times right so that number factor has come into picture and once we account for that this is the tendency for reaction for chlorine. Now we will solve a problem and then we will understand the consequence why we are studying this but for the time being you must understand and know this this ratio right so actually 
to write it properly it is 5 is to 3.8 is to 1 right this is for chlorine if you look for bromine that is 1600 is to 80 is to 1 for bromine if you look at the tendency of a bromine free radical to react with 1 degree if that we consider as 1 then the tendency to react with a 3 degree is 1600 in case of chlorine it's only 5 in case of bromine it's 1600 that's a huge number the reason is as we talked before the bromine free radicals reaction is thermodynamically controlled it can wait so if you have 6 number the number of of hydrogen on primary carbon is higher then that is no incentive for bromine free radical to go and react there even if you have nine even if you have more number of primary hydrogen on primary carbon that is not going to in increase the reaction of primary hydrogen on primary carbon number does not matter what matters is stability of these free radicals and three degree is much much more stable than one degree and hence this number that stability difference is also reflected here in reactivity difference and 2 degree is also much more stable than 1 degree and which is also reflected here right in this case the numbers matters so that difference has been shrunk down right so these two things has to be remembered by you let's solve a problem to make this clear <coughs> 